Good fortune seemed to follow and stick with us for the next five years. We made the move to the new digs, bought the servers we needed, invested in video cameras, and set up our very first film studio. Sure, Tommy. Film studio might be a bit generous. It was a medium-sized office with eight-foot ceilings. We shot everything on tape and used secondhand 4-3 SD cameras and those blisteringly hot halogen lights. We had to turn off the rattling AC during filming. So yeah, things got a little sweaty. We logged every take by hand and transfers took forever. But for us, it was the greatest film studio on the planet. Despite the production challenges of those early courses, the content was pure gold. Here's a look at one of our very first productions. You might recognize this artist. That was Southern Jam from Jeff Sheets' first True Fire course, Rock Solid. By the way, we locked Jeff in the studio, lights blazing and AC off, until he agreed to join us as True Fire's Director of Education. Jeff McElane was another artist who pioneered interactive video guitar lessons with True Fire. Top-tier educator and brilliant player, Jeff McElane's footprints are all over our evolution. Thanks to our technology team, we got the hang of streaming video pretty quickly. Not without constant battles with bandwidth and connectivity, but it worked. So the first video player, if you can go with that, think about the simple HTML page, a table of content that lists the different segments of the course, and then you click on that segment and it opens whatever video play associated with that type of file on your right. system, right? Technically, when we started doing the streaming... Well, she used the low vision supposedly usable on a 56K mic, right? But then we used like a, a proxy server running on a port there, uh -huh. which starts downloading at the same time we fetch it from the server, right? Still in the process of downloading, and so it worked great. I remember that. We didn't want the customers to have to sit and wait out of here. We were getting ahead of ourselves, so <laughs> yeah, often exactly. for sure. <laughs> yes. Yeah, these were good times, interesting times, of course. During this period, we were producing interactive video versions of the Lessons in Music magazines, which was a big upgrade from the audio versions of the Notes on Call days. Readers really dug the visuals for learning, and the magazines were able to set themselves apart from their competition. Let's take a station break and tune in a couple of other clips from this era. Monster jazz guitarist Frank Bignola was one of our intrepid digital adventurers. No one better qualified than Stu Ham to add our first bass course to the library. Here's a taste. Two, three. See, it sounds so good. Just with the space, I'm catching that little with the snare. Midway through this period, we began thinking more like broadcasters 
and built the first streaming video platform dedicated to guitar and bass education. We called it True Fire TV. The response was overwhelmingly positive, so much so that it was unfortunately overwhelming our servers. It certainly kept our tech team busy holding down the fort. Meanwhile, four of the magazines we worked with were equally impressed. They asked us to build branded streaming platforms for each of them, which led to Guitar Player TV, Bass Player TV, EQ TV, and Keyboard TV. Back then, no one, including us, fully appreciated how massive the global impact would be. We connected with players everywhere there was internet. This changed how we thought about everything. My epiphany was triggered by an email from a guitar student in China. He wrote to tell us that the nearest guitar teacher was 200 kilometers away. But now, he had internet and True Fire TV. He was very thankful and I'll never forget his closing. You make me rock. That was the moment we understood what we were doing and why it mattered. Jazz also rocks. Here's a bit of B-flat blues mastery courtesy of Mimi Fox from her Jazz Anatomy Masterclass. The only artist who could follow Mimi is Larry Carlton. Here's Stormy from his first True Fire course, 335 Blues. One of our most game-changing opportunities involved a 10-camera shoot of Larry in a recording session. We wanted to share that experience by developing an interactive software player, enabling students to switch camera angles, mix the tracks, and jump in the session with us. We were certainly ambitious, but this was 2008, and syncing 10 video tracks in an interactive streaming medium, it just hadn't been done before. Fortunately, we didn't know that. Somehow we pulled it off. This milestone fundamentally changed our entire curricular vision and how we would leverage our learning technologies in the future. We'll tell you all about that in the next episode.